Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, almost then he wanted to say something to us. So he said, listen up Christian, crazy Christians. And uh, I have to agree those Christians are really something. I mean, it's us who is crazy. But why? Is it us who believe there's a God? Because I bought down for him, he will give me 80,000 little boys so they can serve me? Is it me who believe that there's a God will give me a woman, her bum is one mile? Is it me who's God when to give me in this private part? Is it me who's God think, my God think the sun set in murky water? Is it my God who think that the baby's, the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women? And we are the crazy. All right. Let us see what this Abu Muhammad and he said to us as a message for the Christians. And he will explain to you everything, crazy Christians. This is, um, a, a, and I don't know why even they call themselves a Christian, Alex Aboud. Your name is Alex Aboud? <laughs> okay, Alexa, okay, Alexa, how are you, Alexa? Alexa, I have an answer. So, Mr. Alexa, Alexa Aboud, he says, Listen up, crazy Christian. Let us zoom in this one here. And this is why the title of my video is exactly what he said. Listen up, crazy Christians. He will explain to you why you're crazy. And you better take it before you leave it. So, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Alexa Aka Abud, he said, Quran chapter 354, talk about the life of Jesus. Uh -huh. It actually talk about the time when Jesus uh, Christ was about to depart from this world. And he asked one of his uh, companions who want to take his place of the crucifixion. I mean, listen to you. You are not only genius, you prove to us that the Christians are crazy. So now Jesus, the Muslim, Isa, he want to depart. Hello, guys, I have to leave. Now, listen, we cannot leave like this. We have to put somebody in the cross, and he have to look like me. Now, you need to tell me who of you like to be me in the cross. So they will put nails in his hands and his feet, and they will kill him. Who of you? Who? Hmm? You? Oh, not you. Maybe you? Not you, too. Yeah. I mean, this is a very, um, this is a true story. That's it. It's explained. I mean, it's time for him to depart. He have no time for the cross. I mean, the, the airplane is, is going to be late, man. I mean, they came in the last five minutes. He need to depart. And now uh, he's uh, like, hello. Uh, okay, uh, uh, he said to the soldiers, okay, can I put somebody like me in the cross, please? Because I had to depart, you know, like I did not, the spaceship will not wait for me. <laughs> true story and you are the one calling us crazy look what you just said you just told us that Isa the Muslim is a coward he's a coward because the one who want to run away and asking people to die instead of him he obviously a coward imagine imagine you are watching a movie and then the hero in this movie he says hey guys who will die for me so I can run 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 away run run must run run, run run i mean this is a very touching story same time this person brother he took the look of jesus if, 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 if. so not only a person he took the place of jesus he looked like jesus now so now we have two jesus we have jesus number one and we have jesus number two and both of them do look the same brother so in the same moment in the earth we have two jesus brother this is a true story, brother. It's not a crazy story. In a second, the guy who said, it's me, I will take your place, he looked like Jesus. And actually, this is very true. Once, you know, the police, he came to give me a ticket. I put my hand off the window. I said, hey, guys, I have a friend who they are driving their cars too. I said, who want to take my place and take the ticket? 
And then the brother, the other guy, he got the same name as mine and the same ugly face as I have, and he got the same ID exactly. So the police, he gave him the ticket, brother, because I have to depart. And you Muslims, you talk about crazy. Who in the world would believe in such a stupid story? And isn't it you Muslim who say that, why Jesus would die for you? What? Huh? You Muslim, you say, why Jesus will die for you? Isn't you Muslim, you say, this is not, this is not right. He should, everyone should die for his own sin. Everybody should have to pay for his own sin. So why now, why the other guy now have to pay for Jesus a, a crime, which is a claiming to be a prophet as the Jews, they don't believe him according to Islam. It, the one who claimed to be the Messiah is Isa, right? Okay. He claimed to be a prophet according to Islam. Okay. The Jews want to kill him because of that. Okay. So why now somebody else have to die for him? Do you see how Islamic mythology is a double standard, a stupid, you know, a cult? In one hand, they made fun of you saying, how you believe that Jesus died for your sin? This is not logical. Everyone should be paying for his own sin. And now you telling me that Jesus is asking people to die for him. Number two, we remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said that in the judgment day, Allah will take the sin of the Muslims, which is equal to mountains, and he will place it on the Christians and the Jews. And here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity of this cult. One hand, they say that everybody should pay for his sin, but yet they believe in the judgment day, Allah will take all the sin of the Muhammadan, adultery, fornication, killing, raving, etc. Anyway, those are not the sin in Islam. Sin in Islam is like you being nice to the Christians, being good to them, you don't hate them, you take them as a friend. This is a big sin. This is what the Quran says, chapter 5, verse 51, and the one who take them as a friend or protector, he is one of them, which means a Muslim, if you take me as a friend or protector, he is one of us, he is out of Islam. This is a big, big, huge sin. Allah will not forgive him actually here. So here the story showing us the stupidity of the author of Islam. Because we see a huge difference between the character of Jesus the Christ, the real Jesus Christ, in Christianity and Islam. In Islam, he's a coward, he will run. In Islam, he want to run. In Christianity, he said to Peter, when Peter tried to defend him, the one who would live by the sword, die by the sword. He put the, he store, he restored the ear of the, the soldier and he put it back and he went with them. He refused that Peter would defend him. He did not ask Peter to die for him. So here we see that Muhammad the thief, he stole the name of Christ. He fabricated stories about Christ. And those stories will fit with his propaganda and agenda. In the same time, you are saying to me something very fishy. That Jesus now, when he wanted to go to the, to, the, to the cross, he told one of his disciples, who want to die for me? Well, why Allah did not save Muhammad? Muhammad was killed by a Jewish woman. She put poison in his food. And your prophet, he confirmed that. So why your prophet did not say, who can take my stomach so he will die instead of me? It's both, is death. What a difference between, you know, it's death. Why your prophet, Allah did not give him a solution that another Muslim, he will take the food and his stomach will eat it, not the stomach of Muhammad. You do not need to change all of Muhammad, just change the stomach, brother. Like Muhammad can ask Abu Bakr, hey Abu Bakr, what about we exchange the stomach? My stomach now is full of poison. Your stomach don't have poison. So Allah can put your stomach instead of my stomach in my stomach. If we ask Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, why Allah did not save Muhammad but he saved Jesus? Zakir Naik, for sure, you have an answer. He's a, he's a big sheikh. Even though he wear like a suit like the, the, the Christians, and the Jews, and he put a tie, uh, even though the jacket is three times bigger than him, and even though he's trying to grow a beard, but he never grow, and even though he used fertilizer, but regardless, he still have an answer. He will answer you right away. He will say, 
Greater breath. First of all, Allah wanted to save Jesus. And he don't want to save Prophet Muhammad. Uh, Zakir, why he want to save Jesus but not Muhammad? First of all, don't say Muhammad. Say Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam. What? Say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What does that mean? Allah pray on him, not for him. Ah, uh, okay. Allah pray for him, not for him. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, so what does have to do with our topic? Why Allah did not save Muhammad from the poison, yet he wanted to save Jesus? Very simple reason. First of all, Allah, he do as he with. Uh, he do as what? As he with. What with? With, with. Ah, uh, you mean wish. Ah, uh, okay. So Allah do he, okay, why he wish that? Why? This is the question. Why he wish to save, to save Jesus, but he does not wish to save Muhammad? First of all, this is very, very high equality question. And nobody answers, save Allah. Allah knows best. Uh, this is that, so the answer, Allah knows best. Exactly. Uh, all of Islam is based on Allah knows best. Exactly. So why you call yourself a sheikh if you know nothing and Allah is no best? Anyone can say that. Exactly. What do you mean exactly? Anyone can say that. So why you call yourself sheikh and you are on the stage if you have no answer? Why Allah want to save Isa but he don't want to save Muhammad? Here we go, Muhammad, he died by poison. You know who died by poison usually? I look at the You are going to come for me. You are going to say to me, that rat, they die by poison. Mice, they die by poison. And Prophet Muhammad died by poison. That will not end in the fact that the Prophet Muhammad, he died by poison, but he the Prophet. Hey, hold on. I did not say rat, and it's, but, but you know, remember your prophet, he says the rat are Jews. I can show you the hadith. I know the hadith. Hadith number 60, even if they got the hadith, the hadith Bukhari. And you quote the hadith correctly, even the numbers are correctly. I could not understand the number from the numbers you quote, but who cares? So listen, until now, you Muslim cannot ins, you know, answer. Why in the world this crazy story? Jesus cannot go to the cross in Islam. What is the problem? Muhammad, he can die by poison. What's the problem? Why Allah want to save Isa, but he don't want to save Jesus? Oh, sorry. He don't want to save Muhammad. What is the problem? Your story is stupid. And have no base. And the funny, the one is saying us, what happened to Isa is a person who came 600 years after Jesus and yet he don't even know how to quote his name correctly. Who is Isa? Who is this guy, Isa? Is that Isa, the son of Maryam, the sister of Aaron? <laughs> so the Muhammadan, he want to teach you, brother and sisters, listen, crazy Christians. But he is not saying crazy stuff. Absolutely not. Islam makes make sense. And then, brother, he said, who want to take my place in the crucifixion? That is because the disbeliever among the children of Israel planned to arrest him. If, 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 if. They did, okay, and crucify Jesus. So here we notice that Allah is the biggest cheater. So he replaced Jesus, he put someone else from his disciple in his place. It's like the same with the one who give you a fake dollar, you know? <laughs> so Allah planned, also planned. Eh? Allah so planned. <laughs> uh, brother, uh, can't Allah save Jesus without making somebody look like him? I mean, obviously Jesus was not arrested anyway. Can't Allah take him to heaven when the Jews, they arrive to the door, brother? Do you think the door is the only place Allah can use? I get an idea. Can't Allah save him from the chimney of the kitchen? Jesus, he go in the roof, and then Allah, he will send Jibreel, and he will send with him Al-Burak. You know the Burak, the limousine of Allah, the donkey, which took Muhammad to the heaven, and the Jews cannot fly. Can they? And you are calling us crazy. So Allah also planned and his plan is how to save Jesus Christ from being arrested and crucified. And now, babies, tomorrow I will tell you a new story about how Allah, he saved Jesus from the cross. He made someone look like him. Very beautiful story. Uh, brother, and the one who died in the cross, he looked like Jesus. He looked like Jesus exactly, brother, brother. Like this guy, his name is insane. Why? 
Why Christian brands? Man, he scared the hell of me when he said it. I thought I'm watching a horror movie or something. Why? All right, all right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm convinced with your story. And then, brother, and Allah is T S O T. What is that, man? Look, the S is big, the W is a small, the T is big again. Oof, 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 oof. Is that like a code, brother? What this is Allah S W T? Short way, short wave transgender. What is that? I'm not sure what is that. Short wave uh, transportation, short wave. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm co I'm confused. Please, if you can explain to us. And then he got he given the image of Jesus to someone else. If 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 if. Mean that's deep. That's that's a true story. I mean, look. Listen up, crazy Christians. This guy is fed up with you, you idiot. He has given you now that the truth. The tr 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 okay. And then he gave the image of Christ to someone. And then Allah is a -W -S -A -W -T again. Again. I mean, are we stuck with this? Each time you will say, Allah, you add SWT. One is big, one is small, one is big. May Allah SWT you. <laughs> and then Allah, he left the Jesus Christ because he also have heard the wicked plans of the disbelievers. <laughs> man, man, man. Man. All of this happened to Isa, so he would not go to the cross. And the poor prophet of Islam, he died by poison. And he was suffering for many years. And he said to his wife, <coughs> Aisha, hey prophet, why you are smoking? <laughs> I don't smoke, you idiot. It's the poison. It cut off my throat. I cannot even talk. <coughs> okay. Aisha, I feel... Uh, see, you, you people, you say Muhammad have no feeling. He has feeling. What's wrong with you? He is a human, obviously. He's not a beast. Look, look. He said, he, I can prove it. I feel. Do you see it? There's a song. It's called, I feel. All the stars and the bars make me drown. I feel. Oh, the poison my orta. Playing games. So, I feel. I feel as if my order is being cut from that poison. Where was Allah? You know what? Allah do not need to replace all of Muhammad. I mean, to put someone else. What about replace only his stomach? You know, how come the angels, they came to do... I don't know if you guys, if you know. I'm not sure if you know. According to Islam, <clears throat> Allah... He sent his angels twice to do plastic surgery for Prophet Muhammad. Yes, brother. This is a true story, brother. Okay? So, Allah, he sent those angels to do plastic surgery. Let me see where we can find those plastic surgery, brother. Uh, <clears throat> so, we can show you, brother. Just a reminder, brother. Here we go. All right, brother. Allah, he sent his angels to clean the stomach of Muhammad before he take him to heaven. Brother, for sure this is a true story, brother. So Allah, he made a he made he made a surgery plastic surgery for the belly and the stomach of Muhammad. Why? Because he need to take him to heaven. Okay, Muhammad now soon is going to go to heaven, brother. He's going to die, and he have poison in his stomach. Is it time to clean it? I mean, who is a stupid here? Allah, he did a surgery for Muhammad when he don't need it. When Muhammad need it, he is not there. How come 
He washed the belly and the stomach. Oh, look, this guy, he's putting his hand all the way to his testicles. Oh, boy. Thank God, this is not me. Oh, man, I will shoot this angel if he do that to me. What do you put your hand, man? Shame on you. So Allah, he brought, he sent two angels, brother. They put Muhammad in the table. And one of the angels, he hold him from his feet. The other one, he shot. Oh, you don't see the screen? Oh, forgive me, please. It's my fault. You missed the movie. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I hope I'm forgiven. Okay, okay. You see the screen now. May Allah, may Allah make you have a big screen. So Allah in the Hadith said, Muhammad claimed that two angels came to him and this has happened twice. One he, one he was between the age of nine and eight and once when he was an adult man as a prophet. Before Allah, he take him to the heaven, Allah, he chop the chest of Prophet Muhammad. Peace upon him. Did I say, I hope I say peace upon him because they get offended. doesn't matter what you say. I mean, you say prophet, you don't say, they get offended. Nobody get offended like the Muslims. And they speak about Islamophobia. Hmm? They get offended if you have a cross. You get offended if you eat pork. They get offended if you drink wine. But they don't get offended for saying you drugs. Mm -hmm. The angels wash his organs. Organs? This is the whole point. The organs of Muhammad now is full of poison. So Allah, he washed his organs when Muhammad have no poison. But Allah did not wash his organs when Muhammad had poison. Hello? If you cannot see, refresh your page. There's one of two reasons you cannot see. Either because your mother-in-law, she did hit you in your eye because you did not wash the dishes, or because your internet is slow, or because Allah make you blind. Choose one, brother. Which one is the most uh, comfortable for you? Here we see that the story of a Washing the chest of Muhammad, obviously, is a fraud. Which one is important? Washing the chest of Muhammad when he want to go up to heaven for a journey, or Muhammad dying and he will go up to heaven anyway? So is it time now to wash his stomach? By the water of Zamzam? May Allah Zamzam you. Zamzam, 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 Zamzam. Zum, 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 zum. What even the what this the zum zum is, man? Like what the heck? Zum zum. Which zum come first? You know what? I will pay you a million dollar if you tell me which zum come first. Zum zum. <laughs> so brother, the prophet Allah he washed his his chest and he made the first plastic surgery for a prophet. Hey brother, brother. Why Allah did not wash the chest of Jesus before he go to heaven? <laughs> I know those questions are above your grade. You are just an Abdul. You see the stupidity? How come we don't see such a story happen to Isa before he go to heaven? Here we go. He's going to heaven now. Why Allah did not say to angels, cut his chest, take his heart, take his uh, abandonment, what they call it? Excuse my English. My English is very funny. You know, there's me and my friend. His name, uh, I don't forget his name. His name is a gringo. Both of us, our English is funny. So, my brother, me and my brother gringo, we are Christians. And we don't understand why Allah did not wash the chest of Jesus before he came to heaven. The same he did to Muhammad. I will tell you why. <laughs> I, would, I got it. Muhammad was so dirty, filthy. To the point Allah will not let him get inside the house without washing him with all kind of detergent, including Clorex. But Jesus is so pure. He go to heaven without wash. This is the only explanation. And I challenge any Muslim to give us explanation why Allah washed Muhammad before he take him to heaven. He did not wash Jesus before he take him to heaven. Be a man and admit your prophet was so dirty. He need to do cleaning surgery deep cleaning deep very deep like very deep like 12 inch deep i mean look at this extremely deep and after the wash and the and, and uh, what is that power wash 
Man, now I got it. This was a power wash. Like they put, they put the water in a machine, like bzzz, bzzz. And the prophet, when the water go inside his chest, the prophet say, stop tickling me, stop tickling me. Like, and the prophet is alive when they took his heart, me? I mean, his heart is out. His stomach is out. His liver is out. And the prophet is watching. I mean, it's very normal. And you know, Allah, if you want something to be, he say be. So how come he did not wash Muhammad by saying be? Maybe that day be was a vacation. Allah look in his table, where is the word be? What is the word be? I see the word see, I see the word me, I saw the word fee. I don't see the word be. So Allah, he said, okay, I am cannot find the word be. So I'm going to send the two angels and they are going to do B surgery. Stupidity is amazing. Uh, sadly, I can't stay long. I have some work to do, a lot of work actually. I miss you all. I hope this video will be good for those who like to listen. We are, you know, yes, maybe we make you smile, but this is a very sad cult. People dying because of it everywhere. Everywhere. Go and see what they are doing to Christians in Nigeria, in Mali, in many African countries. Go and see what they are doing to Christians in Iraq, in Syria. Go and see what they are doing to Christians in Egypt. Go and see. And yet, if you speak against this filthy cult, they call you Islamophobia. Number one killing machine, believe, is Islam. Yet, the liberals, the stupid liberals, they say that the one who attack Islam is Islamophobic. Will wait until the Muslims get you. Wait until you move to Somalia. Wait until you move under the authority of Islam. And let us see who want to talk about the Islamophobia. Stupid people have no value. Just because we are Christians and they don't know what to do, how to stop Christianity. They hate us, those liberals. They try to take our videos down. They side with the terrorist. Islam is a terrorist cult. Not every Muslim is a terrorist for sure. But Islam itself is a terrorist. Not every Muslim follow Muhammad for sure. But Islam is a terrorist. Not every Muslim he want to adopt the teaching of Muhammad is a Muslim by name. But Islam is a terrorist. And for us, we don't hate the Muslims and we will never hate them. But if you are a true Muslim, is someone who follow the teaching of Muhammad, who ordered to kill the Christians and the Jews in chapter 9, verse 29 who forbid the Muslims to take the Christians and the Jews as a friend in chapter 5, verse 51, who say that Allah will spread hatred between the Christians in chapter 5, verse 14, until Judgment Day. If you quote those things, you are Islamophobic. This is the new propaganda and agenda, and, the, and, and those you know uh, who take a benefit of this is those who sponsor Islam. Islamophobia. It's Islamophobia, brother. If you see your brother in Christ being slaughtered, crucified, you have no right to defend him. You have no right to say human right. They are so ready to defend a cat right, a goat right. Oh, we are against hunting, but they kill babies. We are against hunting, but Christian killing is okay. Oh, we are against hatred, bigotry, but Christians being accused that they have AIDS just because they are Christians. Christian being accused to have filth and they are whore and prostitute just because they are Christians. Christians are accused to be filthy, coward, as the Quran say about us. Najis, it's okay. Pigs, monkeys, it's okay. But you cannot say Islam is a fraud. If you say that, you are Islamophobic. Well, if saying the truth is Islamophobic, join the club. For we are going to say the truth and we don't care what you say. Filthy coward who support Muhammad. Doesn't matter who. Doesn't matter who. And time will come and you yourself, you will pay the price by supporting Islam. Like the stupid woman who was in Netherlands. She used to have a page in Facebook, in Twitter, calling anyone who attack Islam Islamophobic. And then she was stabbed more than 11 times. A living time was stabbed by a terrorist. She spent years of her life to say anyone attack Islam is Islamophobic. 
Imagine what happened to her face when she saw the terrorists coming after her, stabbing her. Why? Because stupidity is amazing. Are you amazed? I am amused. Thank you guys for being here. We love the Muslims. We will never hate them. Even Muhammad trying to make us hate them. But this is not the goal of our mission. The goal of our mission that we and the Muslim should love each other. Do not listen to Muhammad, the filthy criminal, the Satan Muhammad. We should be friends. We should be family. We should be living in peace. We should support each other. Anyone who believe in hatred, is he, he is like Muhammad. Anyone who believe in love, he is like Jesus who said, love your enemy. And if a Muslim, he think I am his enemy, you are mistaken, I am not. I am an enemy of Muhammad, the devil, who order people to kill and slaughter, claiming that his God will not be happy unless we slaughter each other. The one who live by the sword, by the sword he die. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set them free. And my advice to all Christians, never hate the Muslims. They are poor people. Even the one who think he is bad, he is just a victim. You see, even Osama bin Laden, he is a victim of Muhammad, not the opposite. Even al zaqawi even al-Baghdadi, he is a victim of the filthy Muhammad, not the opposite. Yes, he is a criminal. Yes, he killed. But if not Muhammad, he will not do what he did. We go always after the person, not after the reasoning. The reason is Muhammad. The reason of all evil is Muhammad. Those are victims. And those victims, they made other people victims of the filthy Muhammad. So at the end of the day, the killer and the one who get killed, both are victim of the filthy Muhammad. And this is the truth. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord save us from the evil of every cult and starting with Islam. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. This is Christian Prince. Love you all. Take care.